Apple Weather Lab out of the Hinsdale Oasis. What's going on out there, Mary Kay? It's a windy, busy night, of course, with everyone trying to head home. Mobile Weather Lab, interesting, with the sun down, we're holding at 50. Winds have been fluctuating between 7 and 10 miles per hour, but over the last 10 minutes, an 18 mile per hour wind gust. So a little gusty up here as everyone heads home. But you know, we don't have any road problems from the weather now. But earlier today, this morning, temperatures were hovering around the freezing mark, and there were certain spots that had just enough moisture collected for black ice to form. Drivers didn't expect it or even see it. Black ice caused a number of crashes overnight. This SUV skidded on the ice, jumped a curve, and flipped over after coming off the Dan Ryan at Canal Port. Amazingly, the two people inside walked away unhurt. And a Chicago Fire Department ambulance was one of four vehicles that crashed on black ice on the far south side. Black ice is dangerous because it's transparent. Only the black road surface underneath is visible. You can't see the ice. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, there are about 1.3 million weather-related vehicle crashes each year, and 44% of those crashes are on snow and icy roads. Well, you know, over the next two days, a lot of you will be driving or flying out of town, and at 6, I'll give you the complete travel forecast live at the Hinsdale Oasis. I'm Mary Kay Kleist. Rob, back to you in yeah, the studio. Yeah, busy travel week for sure, Mary Kay. Thank you.